Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft World War 1 tutorial. This tutorial here is a little bit different, and I know this is not going to be everybody's style and not everybody's going to want to build this, and some of you may just dislike it right away, but this here is basically designed to be a build that commemorates the horses of World War 1. Horses were kind of a huge thing that was overshadowed in World War 1 by history, and we typically forget about them and their sacrifice. Uh, horses were used before the time of really having common access to vehicles and um, trucks and all that stuff and they were used to basically tow around carts uh, whether it be full of wounded men or whether it be full of ammunition uh, huge artillery pieces uh, getting vehicles that were around at the time stuck out of the mud and overall they were just a very important piece of World War One history and I feel like they deserve to be commemorated with some sort of build. I also think this horse here is going to be an awesome addition to any of your battlefields. Um, it could be you know, you could put a rider on it and have it charging your front line. It could be towing a bunch of, you can have like eight of them towing an artillery battery and stuff. There's a lot of things you can do with this one design. And you can modify it, turn it in different colors and all that stuff. So I think it's really going to be a cool build. And it's two to one, so it's scaled my vehicles properly. And therefore, four would fit into your battlefields a lot better um, than just using a standard, uh, you know, spawned in Minecraft horse. Um... So, again, it's not for everybody. I know not everybody's going to like it, but for those of you guys that do, you know, want to use this design, I think it's a really cool build and will definitely add some, uh, you know, more history to your World War One battlefields you may be making. So, let's go and take a quick look at it. As you can see here, pretty simple design. I think I got the shape of it pretty good. Um, again, organic shapes, especially at this scale, are kind of difficult to capture, especially with that the shapes of a horse. Uh, but I think it came up pretty good. We got, obviously, the... Uh, head of it and we have the harness that goes around connects that we have a saddle on this one so you can have a rider sit on it or you can just have it you know hooked up to a um, you know pulling group to be pulling artillery and um, all that so I think the horse came out really good <laughs> I really do I think it, I think it's a cool little design and for what we're trying to accomplish at this scale and with blocks I think it definitely looks pretty good I think when you look at it you'll be like all right yeah that's a horse um, anyways let's go ahead and move into the tutorial all right guys so going ahead and moving into this tutorial to begin with, we're going to place down a spruce wood fence post like this. We're going to then go sip, skip a space over and place down an air fence post. We then want to go ahead and go back from these fence posts a total of three blocks, and we're going to then place down an air fence post. So we have three blocks of space here between those front legs and then the back legs right here on both sides. We're going to then go up a granite wall up, of e up each of these fence posts, so just like this. And up here in the front, we want to go ahead and place down a spruce wood. Uh, top slab that's going to be in between these walls here and then one more top slab that goes back followed by a dark oak wood trapdoor or sorry a spruce wood trapdoor just like that after that's done we're going to then place down a stripped spruce wood log here followed by one two three four and five so in total we're going to have a row of five here along the side we're going to then place down a granite wall on these two sides here, one, two, going back from the front one, and then a spruce uh, wood piece right there, and then same thing over here on this side. So just like that. On this wall right here, we're going to place down an item frame, two both sides, and we want to go and then place down a tripwire hook and rotate the tripwire hook like this to be facing downwards like that for basically the little loops in the saddle that you would basically put your feet in. After that, we're going to go and then place down a, another spruce wood trapdoor coming off the front here. We're going to go then go to the back, we're going to place down a narrow brick wall, and then a narrow brick fence post that comes down from it like that for the tail. We're going to go then place down a spruce wood slab here, followed by a second spruce wood slab. We're going to go and grab ourselves some player heads, and we're going to place down player heads here on these two spruce wood blocks. We then want to go and place down two black concrete blocks going forward, followed by wither skeletons going on both sides of this black concrete block here. And then we're going to place down a polished black stone stair to both sides of this black concrete block. So just like that. After we have that done, we're gonna place down our spruce wood block right here. And we're gonna then place down a place or we're gonna then place down a player head in the corners there, just like that. After that's all done, we want to go ahead and then place down a spruce wood trap door coming off this spruce wood block right there. A narrow brick slab, a dark liquid sign coming off the slab like so, and then the both sides of the slab we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull like that. Coming off those wither skeleton skulls, going back we're going to place down a chain 
on both sides here. Go ahead and move it up. We're going to place down a spruce wood slab on top of this narrow brick slab. A uh, stripped spruce wood log up on top here. A black stone button to both sides here. And then a spruce wood trap door on the top of this block like that. To both sides of that spruce wood trap door, we're going to place down a spruce wood sign. And then go into the back here. We're going to place down a narrow brick wall on the back of this block right here for the main. And we want to go and then place down a chain going back from that black stone button on both sides here. And then lastly, we're going to go and place down a wither skeleton skull on top of this black concrete block. And then a polished black stone pressure plate right here after that for the saddle. And once you have that all complete there, that's going to pretty much wrap up the design here for the horse. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this build and are able to put it to good use. If you guys do have using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This being from a sign of the build to my channel or this video, if this does a pretty social media sites. As always, guys, give me proper credit for the build you're free or for projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build and have fun with it and all that fun stuff. But other than that, uh, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys all again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This video to it for, and I'll see you guys next time.